Mutoguma, a peaceful and fertile community that dwells by the hillside, a land flowing with honey and milk. My brother, Igwe Izuebunam, rules this land. He is so kind that no one comes to him with a problem and goes back with it. He has built so much harmony among the villagers that they sing his praise at all times. But it is said that a man cannot possess everything. That is the only reason we can find our beloved king being childless. Ilemo, I greet you. What is the matter with Ilemo? Why did he reject our greeting this morning? Oh, Kadike. You know, Ilemo is not an ordinary human being. Uh -huh. His mission this morning might not permit words out of his mouth. You are right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, what the time are we supposed to be meeting with the Igwe? Very soon. Very soon? Yeah. Our king has been married for 35 years without a child. He has two wives who have been conceiving but the children never stay. They keep experiencing miscarriages, but now both of them are coincidentally pregnant. They conceived at the same time. Igwe, they must go back to their father's house and remain there until the children are born. If not, this might be a repeat of what has happened before. Umutoguma has been rejoicing over the news of the pregnancy, but hearing that the queens overcame the fourth month made them even happier. Igwe. Mm? <laughs> For the pregnancies to go beyond five full moons means we have to rejoice. We have to celebrate. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. And do um, you remember that the miscarriages in the past happened during the fourth moon? Yes. 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 Which means these ones will definitely stay. That is why you have to remain at ease with yourself. Oh, he said. <laughs> he said. <laughs> my brother. He agreed. Oh. To my wonderful queens. <laughs> mm. uh, anyway, Igwe, if you will permit me. I want to see my wife. With pleasure. <laughs> and um, I send them my warmest regards. Ah. <laughs> Amen. Hey! You know what? 
now that your pregnancies have gone beyond the five full months, you have made it. <laughs> you have made it. So I want you to whisper in my ears, one after the other, and tell me what you want. Then I'll do it for you. I am so happy, very excited. <sighs> eh? Wait. good i am definitely going to do something about what you just asked for and by nightfall you have thank you Nai. good thank and you. may the gods safeguard the seeds in your womb till you bring them forth yes. good hi hey! <laughs> oh my beautiful queens anyway i must believe in Here to see you. Bring him in. Just leave us, eh? I want to complete the cooking with her. Yes, Your oh. Highness. No, no. I don't want you to feel uneasy with the smoke. Mm. And you know it is my duty to cook this night. And don't start, don't start. <laughs> Did you pay some armed gas to bring me here? <laughs> hey. How about the stomach ache? It has stopped. It ceased as soon as I drank the herbs you gave to me. That medicine is very strong. Oh. Where did you get it? My grandmother taught me. You, eh?
Have you finished this evening? Mm, I have finished. Can they have voices? Hmm. The young ones are here again. They have come. The young ones. Mm -hmm. okay. Let us go and meet them now. Maybe you should go and meet them. Let me serve you with his food. I'll join you later. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 Let me go and join them. Yeah, I'll join you later. Hmm. They have come. This seeds in their belly, it will stay. It's a uh, nothing will happen to it's it. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, but anyway, you shall do exactly what Ezem was said, mm. and the children they will come. This is Igwe, you shall live long. It's, uh, Igwe is webunam. You are richly blessed. <laughs> Where would I start? Is it from the hills? Oh, yeah. The farmland that extended <laughs> to Ifute Obuna? <laughs> Is it the livestock? <laughs> Bands of yam, cocoa yam, <laughs> slaves. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Igwe, I could go on and on and on and on. Oh. Kilo to Abuzi. You are too much. <laughs> my friend, Igwe. Uh, whoever gives me my first son, Igwe, you want to say that again? <laughs> whoever gives me my first son mm -hmm. shall know joy and plenty all the days of our life. Bam. And I shall praise the ground on which she walks. <laughs> Igwe, you shall live long. Mm. Uh... This morning when I saw Ilemo rushing past me like an arrow from, from the hunter's bow. Mm. <laughs> I was worried. I greet you, God Safumu Togma. Ekenekwamun. He said, thank you. You are a good friend. Igwe. Thank you. The gods continue to bless you. Thank you. Ah, my dear, thank you. Thank you very much. You see? Your leg means well. <laughs> Come and eat with me. Look. Look. One titty. <laughs> Ah. Ah.
This is our tradition that the young ones who do not know the difference between a man and a woman gather at every pregnant woman's house and sing with her while applying the nzu on her. This is a way of making the unborn ones know that F is very interesting a place to be. Kemba, you and two guards will follow my junior wife, Odugo, back to her place in Umunri. You will remain with her until she delivers. Then you will come back and report to me as soon as possible. Yes, my highness. I've heard your highness. You may go. Yes, you see, I will go to Humuri with Telolo or go tomorrow. And I will be with her till she delivered. Then I will run back to him at once. I think what he gave back to. I will, not I? Then be quick! Ah. I am going to the palace, okay? Okay, okay I will hurry up. Dima, 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 Dima. Your Highness, I saw the boys and uh, some palace servants. They were carrying her belongings and walking towards the armor. I hope all is well. Yes, thank you. All is well. They are only going on a short journey. Oh, that's all right, Your Highness. That's all right. So, what, what do you want me to do? Uh, Your Highness, please, I need more space to farm on so that I can harvest more crops and sell at the marketplace. Mm. Well, yes, you can farm on the land near the Umutonguma stream. Oh, Your Highness, that vast area of land. Oh, I am grateful. Your Highness, may you live long, my king. May you live long. I'll be on my way. Thank you, sir. Morning greetings to you. Greetings to you too. Why is Oju? Uh, Oju, she went to me this morning. Hey! Umu togu mae! I knew I would be late. I said, what do I do? So what do I do now? Eh? 
If you hurry, you can still catch up with them. Uh, okay, in that case, let me hurry too. Hey! Hey, Joma. Oji Ugo is from Umunre, a village so far from Umotoguma. Igwe gave her more servants only because Umunre is far away and there is no one in her house. She is also an orphan. She has miscarried two pregnancies. The one in her womb is a third. Her deepest wish is only to deliver her child safely. It's all right. Ijoma. Hmm? Yeah, yes. Dada. <laughs> Dada. What did this happen? I didn't know you were expecting. How will you know? When you will not visit your only sister to know how she's faring. Dada, do you know? I just finished making a bacha that I will bring to the palace for you this evening. A bacha. Abacha! I'm excited. Yeah. I can't wait to eat it. You eat! Dada, I have not finished making the oil. I you see. First of all, you come and lie down. I want to eat the raw one first. You will eat. Please bring these things in. Come and lie down. Okay. I'm a dog. thank you. Oh, you came? Eh? You made it? Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh, no. Oh, oh. Mom. No. Eh? I waited for you. Mm. At the time, I thought uh, you had changed your mind. You know, I will not do a thing like that. Hey. Eh? I had to put some things in order before hey, you. Yeah. I'm sorry to be late. No, hey. no. No. Oh. Oh. No. Sit down, let us eat. Oh. Fine. <laughs> You're welcome. There's no problem. My children, no. how are you? I'm fine. I take. Let us eat. <laughs> no. But Dad, why did he decide to send the two of you home? I don't understand. I overheard him saying the night before mm. that a lemon came with a prophecy. Saying that some sacrifices have to be done in the palace without us, the wives. 
So you now ask us to go to our father's houses and stay until we give back. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Uh, today is their market day. Mm. So I took my yams and some of my cocoa yams there for sale. I hope you sell well. Oh, very, very well. <laughs> very well. I came back with only empty baskets. Really? Yes. That's good. Those men are the entrance. They came with you? Yes. They are the Eagles guys. Hey, you're welcome. Oh. Ah, mm. no, I'm back over. Mm. You're here. Oh, yeah. I'm there. Oh, come on. My love, mm. you're very, very much welcome. Mm. No, no. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> you're from now. We have to eat. <laughs> Anoint your first son with some of this oil after you have crowned him prince. Ilamor has done everything possible to avert the evil prophecy. We don't know why he asked the queens to go home. I was only told of the ritual to be performed this morning, and I came over to the palace to perform it with them. Die 
They are not at home. You have to come back again. Oh, my father will soon be back. All right, wait. How much is your money? Three carats. Deal. I go to your highness. Have you friends with firewood? Yes. That means you have to follow us to the house. I can give you your money. No, the dad in the house has already given me the three carries. All right, thank you. Jideka told me that your mate or Jugo gave her that money she gave to Ifani. That boy that brought firewood. <laughs> I don't understand what is happening. It's like Ojugo wants to buy everybody with money. That's no no wonder that most of them are in her favor. Mm. See, you came back here with only a maid. But she she's at home with two mates and two guards. Remember you're the first wife. Oh. You should have been the one coming here with the two mates and two guards, not her. <laughs> right. Dada, think oh, think because me I'm thinking. I'm thinking too. I'm thinking. I just want to have this my baby first. Let me have this baby. Is that all you have to say? Have the baby first. I'm thinking oh. It's not as if I'm not thinking. Hey. I'm thinking. Hey. I'm thinking. Hey. That woman is beginning to get on my nerves. Nkoga, God of children and the God of fertility, I call on you and I shall keep calling on you until my children are born. Oh, and I promise you that when my children are born, oh, I shall give you a big cow. In appreciation. Nkuga. Nkuga. What he does every morning since the day Ilamo buried the pot of Nkuga in the palace. Nkuga is the god of fertility and god of children. Mouth of the gods, you are welcome to my abode. Greetings to you too, son of the soil. I have not had any news from the palace for some days. Hmm. I had a bad dream. And you know I cannot go to the palace until the queens give birth. Or have they? Oh, uh, I have not heard anything from them. How is Igwe? Oh, Igwe is alright. No problem. Please, send me words as soon as the queens come. The children are close to the earth. That is, if one has not entered yet. I surely will. Of 
our land be praised. Ojugu has brought forth a baby boy. Hey! hey. Praise my land. Welcome, my God. Hey. Baby and grandfather. Hey. Baby, the ghost of our land. Welcome, Ghost of our name. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, hey. 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 a priest of our life. Hey! I'm going to be a priest. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hey! 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 Run down to Mutoguma. First of all, buy the freshest star wine and take it to the king and announce to him that Ojugo has brought forth his son. Sauce. Jimmy Rocco, add everything. Uda, enough pepper. Let me rush to the palace. Igade, you where you live long. Now, Ingrisina, I greet you. Okay. Hey. What brings you in so much hurry? Igwe, my sister, yes. your wife, has given birth to your heir. Oh. <laughs> 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 I am a man. Yeah. I am a man. <laughs> <laughs> you said she gave us when? This evening, Your Highness. Oh, Manego. Oh. Your Highness. Now, what? go and get me the oil <laughs> and the crown for my prince. <laughs> 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 the girls have, have heard my plea. <laughs> it's Reguna. It's Reguna. My brother. Igwe. Ah. Kuga. Agozi Ogogi. Ah. It's Reguna. It's Reguna. Igwe. Ah. Kuga. Agozi Ogogi. Hey. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! You will go with Ify. When you get there, you will anoint the child 
with the oil and crown him with the crown today. Yes. And then you will give my queen my most precious regards. If it, is there anything you need? Food, clothing, anything? No, Igwe, we have more than enough. Are you sure? I'm sure, Your Highness. Oh, I owe you a precious gift. Thank you. For bringing me Highness. such absolutely precious news. Thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> oh, go with the God. The God bless your journey. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I am pleased for you, you Highness. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks be to thank the you. gods of our life. Has caught a human being. Is that me? Help me. Hey! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey! I'm in with the Ignan Palace Guard. The second wife gave birth to a major this morning. Yeah. Ah. Sorry, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. And I was sent to go and deliver the message. Okay. But I changed my mind. Okay. I am not like it, Oji. In order to obtain favor from the Lord Dibuizi. These are carries. As soon as all Jugo gives birth. Rush to my father's house and tell me what she get better before you going to tell the Igwe. Hmm? If you do this for me, I'll make sure you become very rich and you cease to be a servant. Huh? I've heard you, minus. Just do as I said. When I know all this I'm going through, <laughs> it's the punishment from the girls. No, 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 don't talk like that. Please, don't talk like that. <coughs> Come on, help. <coughs> Come on now, help me. My strength is failing me. Please, don't talk like that. I will take you to the palace. Please. I will survive this. Oh, please, please, please. Please help me and tell you exactly what I told you. I Hey! 
Ikemba. Ikemba. Hey! Ikemba is dead. Amadi Ohai. I would leave this light here in case somebody passes by and at least notice him. I must go to the Igwe's palace at once. Yes. <laughs> Igwe. I will take it upon myself to announce to the whole village that our prince has come. Oh, <laughs> tell everyone to come. I there will. is enough to eat and drink in my palace. <laughs> yeah, I cannot wait to deliver this news. <laughs> Igwe, you shall live long. Oh, well. Thank you. <laughs> hey, uh, go well. <laughs> Your Highness. Igwe, may you live long. A hunter from Ugwagba seeks to be in your presence, Igwe. A hunter? From Ugwagba? Yes, Igwe. Well, bring him before us. Igwe. Hunter. Igwe. Yes, yes. Your Highness, I greet you. You are welcome to my palace. Your Highness. And what can we do for you? Your Highness, my name is Igwebike. Yeah. I am a hunter from Ugwaba. Yeah. Uh, I came to inform you that one of my traps caught your servant this morning. Who? He said his name is um, Ikemba. Yes, Ikemba. And he was sent from Umure. To inform you that your wife, Ojugo, delivered a baby boy this morning. This morning? Yes, this morning. But, Your Highness, I, I regret to inform you that your servant came by. He's dead. Oh, this is terrible news. Um, where's his body? By the roadside at Uguaba. What was he doing in Uwaba? What on earth am I going to do now? Very well. Um, thank you for letting us know. Um, I shall give you some guards to go with you to watch over the, the body till morning. Uh, so that wild animals will not feast on it. Yes, Your Highness. And uh, you will give him plenty to eat and drink? And uh, some uh, chickens and um, and a goat. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Igwe, you have anointed the wrong child. You should have waited to hear from me or from Umunre. The news of Dubiezi's childbirth came to me first. What am I going to do, wise one? The two children are first sons of their mothers. All you have to do is speak to their mothers while we wait on directions from the gods.
Igwe. Igwe, I greet you. The men have brought back Ikemba's body. Hey! Sure, his body got here safely. Before I leave, at least I owe that to him. Igwe, Igwe, okay. The Igwe wants to meet with you immediately. The Igwe, yes, the Igwe. My faithful servant, rest in perfect peace. <clears throat> A Mecca? Yes, sir. Uh, get him two goats and two cockroaches. Yes, sir. Your Highness. Uh, I insist. Your Highness. I insist. You did not bring good news, but you have done a good deed. Emeka, arrange for Ikemba's corpse to be taken back to his parents and tell them to see me immediately. Um, my good fellow, thank you so much. May the gods bless you. Did you hear that? Go and find out what's going on. Igwe. God of fertility kills whoever that is against a child, earth, or children. This way, the body must turn into grains of corn. You 
Oh, God. 